The vast majority of cases in the criminal justice system end in a plea deal, but what do those plea deals look like? How do they differ from one prosecutor to the next? We can't currently answer questions such as these because there's no data. Prosecutorial data would make it possible to identify potential problems and learn from the successes and failures of others to improve outcomes statewide. For example, some counties offer pre-trial diversion programs as an alternative to proceeding with a conviction. Other counties may be more flexible on how they punish low-level offenders. Having solid data to compare and contrast their pros and cons will help us create even better data-driven outcomes to ensure justice is served. But unfortunately, reliable data isn't available. So when it comes to creating changes in Utah's criminal justice system, lawmakers may not be able to make informed decisions. This is a major problem, but a new law in Utah will begin to change this. The Utah legislature passed House Bill 288, sponsored by Representative Marsha Judkins, earlier this year. The bill requires Utah prosecutors and jails to collect and report specific information about individuals and cases they process. For example, information about an accused individual's demographics, plea deal, sentencing, and outcomes will all be tracked. Prosecutors will then give this data to the state who will publish an annual report on the findings alongside any recommendations they may have. This transparency measure is good for public accountability, but perhaps more importantly, it will provide policymakers and prosecutorial agencies with good information on what's working and what changes need to be made. This will be a great opportunity to reevaluate current practices with more data than ever before. Good data is a vital part of creating good policy for criminal justice reform, and this new law is only the beginning. We are working with several government agencies to ensure that the data collection ideas from this bill can be applied on a broader scale in the future. Criminal justice policy is complicated, but it's important we get it right given what's at stake for those who are a part of the system. Having this information will make it easier to comprehend exactly what's going on so we can see where we should be going next. For Libertas Institute, I'm Michelle Eden.